Hey, we lost surgery peeps. I told you I'd be back <laughs> sooner than maybe you thought. Um, today, I'm actually sitting outside a gym where I'm going to try out a Zumba class. Um, my favorite Zumba instructor, Miggy, is on a Zumba cruise. He is actually teaching Zumba on a cruise that stops in London, Paris, the Azores Islands, and then is at sea for a week. So his class today isn't happening. And being the Zumba addict I am and wanting my Saturday workout, I left my toning class and came over here. Um, my toning class is now more like boot camp. But one of the things I really wanted to talk about because, um, and I'm sorry about the lighting, I guess I'm partly in the dark, but hey, what can I say? You can still hear me. Um, I want to talk about body dysmorphia because I really, I thought that I did not suffer, and I'll lean over here so I'm a little bit more in the light. I thought that I did not have body dysmorphia because um, I fully accepted my weight loss. I saw myself as being thinner and then finally as, in my opinion, being thin. You know, I felt like I was at my normal weight and felt good about my body, I didn't continue to see myself as being overweight. And what's interesting, though, is that when I gained the weight, gained some of the weight back, um, once I started working and was no longer as active, that, I mean, at one point it was as high as 12 pounds above my goal. I got as high as 174, my goal weight being 162. And I I really struggled because I saw myself as obese again and it was just 12 pounds and everybody still kept complimenting me and telling me how great I looked but I really felt fat. I mean, I hated my body and it was really bizarre. I mean, I'm thinking about it today, how bizarre that is that I could see myself that way so easily um, and I think it's something that we all need to look at and kind of work with because it's so weird. It's weird that I could so easily, I mean, on, in one respect, I felt like it was a good thing because it meant that I had accepted my body where it was. That was my new set point. And that can kind of, is kind of a good thing, but the fact that so easily I lapsed into that kind of self-loathing and being down on myself and not liking the way I looked, you know, that can trigger binging. That can trigger bad behavior or, or behavior that doesn't serve you. And... Um, and I'm not done with that, those feelings, is now that I've lost, you know, I'm, I'm, da I'm down now back to 167, which is five pounds for my goal weight. And boy, that feels so much better to me. And, and I'm more able, I think one of the things that also I thought was interesting is my husband took a picture of me. We don't walk that often anymore, but yesterday when we were walking, he took a picture of me. And when I saw it, I was almost shocked because I thought, oh, I am, I, I am okay. I do look thin. I, I, I'm not, you know, no one else is seeing what I'm seeing, which is I can look in the mirror and still see myself as fat. And that's a, that's weird, people. That's weird. I'm, I'm sort of babbling. Boy, boot camp was crazy this morning. My toning class is now called boot camp, and it really is. So I'm going to have a few bites of a quest bar before I head into this experience. But I wanted to check in with you. Maybe find out, you know, some thoughts from you guys. Do some video responses about where you're at with this whole issue of this inability to see ourselves as we are. Either way, I mean, I, I, I think my denial was when I was morbidly obese, you know, I, because I didn't weigh for so many years. I never really saw that. So I, maybe that's why I was able to um, embrace low the lower weight because in some ways I probably already thought I was thinner than I was you know what am I saying you know what I'm saying I think you guys know what I'm talking about and um, it's a struggle and it's something that I for one have to come to terms with in order to successfully maintain I mean in a sense I love the fact that uh, Wendy proof weight loss surgery works uh, has a 10 pound 
range, you know, so that if I go to 172, I'm still within my, my range, and that felt good to, to not be that off, and um, goodness knows that I am very toned and very strong, and getting stronger all the time with my Zumba and my toning. Toning, by the way, is still the very best thing I've done for myself. I'm getting some strength in my uh, abdomen, my lower back, my upper back, things I never thought that I could work on again. So that's the report from Maggieville today. I'm going to go do the Zumba class and then have a rare sweet walk with my son and our doggy boy in the beautiful California sunshine here uh, closing in on November. So I want to hear what you guys have to think about this subject and I'll be back soon.